the outdoors. Uh, I'm here at the UK Prep Elite and I'm here with uh, Mark from Mad Dog Adventures and Tom the Prepared Pathfinder. So we thought while we were here we'd do a little bit of content. Um, we're all big fans of chess packs so we thought we'd have a, a chat through what we carry and why. So Mark do you want to start mate? Yeah um, so I've got a Hill People Gear original kit bag. This is the second one of these I've had. Uh, I started off with one with like the the molly straps on the front and actually decided I needed a slightly bigger one and um, I used to wear chest rigs when I was serving and now as a civvy you know I can mountain bike canoe sit in a vehicle in this and uh, it keeps all my essentials where I want them uh, so a quick run through of what I've got in it so it's standard hill people gear I've modded it with some quick release buckles so I can whip it off if I go in the drink um, and we've got things like a backup silver compass proper one on those little button compass jobbies there's there's a couple of lighters in there that's a, a zippo the old two is one and one is none malarkey and then my favorite the uh exotac fire sleeves it's got like a bic lighter because you can get bic anywhere in the world tinder so emergency fire kit fire steel that is big enough that if i can't start a fire with that something's gonna be wrong there's a bit of cordage in there some water purification tools Leatherman stuff for sharpening because snake won't have any blunt front blades, and then we've got things for signalling so the little head torch that has a strobe function, battery operated silume, and uh, a bit of like lube for keeping the knives from rusting and stuff. And in the back, I normally can hold a map in there, but I've got a fold out uh, air marker panel again for sort of signalling my location if I'm in, in a spot of bother, and notepad and pencil. But yeah, map can fold up in there quite nicely. So yeah. All right then. So the one I use is a head of context number chest pack, uh, and like Mark was saying, when I was serving, I use chest rigs quite a bit in the military as well, specifically in Northern Ireland, um, over in Iraq, places like that. Um, so <clears throat> I, I use one of these when I'm out on the hills quite a bit, because what it does is it enables you to keep all your stuff close to your hands um, to be able to you know use things like your maps and your compass. And also just bits and pieces of survival gear um, you know if you were separated from your kit for any reason and it can happen it's always good to have those survival items close to hand so I'll just have a quick talk through of what I've got on mine so on the outside then I've got a um, pair of gloves there it's always good to have a set of gloves ready to go um, especially if you're using any bladed objects to protect your hands uh, going into the main pack I've got quite a few sort of smallish items there first thing on the right closest to my right hand is a uh, compass so I've got a silver expedition 5 got this from TRC outdoors as it happens and a great bit of kit really solid compass and it's got like a measuring device on the lanyard as well um, so nice bit of kit there next thing along I've got is a little monocular um, that's attached as well like the compass was I didn't mention um, we use that for just observing things at distance so you know instead of having to walk a long way to find that you can't cross a river because it's too wide or whatever um, you can always have a little look first. Um, Leatherman, so obviously a, a, a tool like that is great for all sorts of uses outdoors. Definitely one to keep on your body at all times. And some mozzie rep this time of year, so you can get lots of rigid mozzies and stuff. Got some cordage in there, so I've got some paracord, and I've also got some bank line, again, TRC Outdoors, got that from. Nice bit of kit. Got a ferro rod and striker got one of the mini head torches from Petzl which is great for obviously seeing in the dark but also it's got a strobe function on it lasts for, for hours and hours and hours so that's great as a, an emergency item too some water purification tablets so shed load of those in a little waterproof container and then in here I've got a very small notebook so waterproof any weather mode stone waterproof notepad with a pen a pencil and a sharpie Tucked in here, I've got a whole load of black tape, so that's great as we know for bodging and fixing things. And then I've also, in this zip pocket here, I've got a few kind of survival items. So I've got a, the old silver blanket, you can use that obviously for hot thermic casualty or just from shelter from the weather, or even potentially putting up a, uh, an improvised shelter. I've got an orange bandana used for lots of good things, you know, helping to filtrate water plus use, use as a 
you know, signaling device, a visual signaling device. And then protecting that, I have that tucked away inside. I've actually got a signaling mirror and a backup tiny little silver compass as well. So that's all held together within that. Also with a ranger band, it's got, you know, survival uses for fire extending and stuff like that. And then a small plastic bag with a, a backup lighter, because I would have my main lighter in my pocket with my main sort of folding knife too. And then some spare batteries, triple A's, and a couple of little folding towels you can get for all sorts of little bits and pieces for use in the outdoors. Um, apart from, I would normally have a, a map in here if I was on the hills, that's the lot for me. All right, so mine is a homemade one. Um, this is actually, I copied uh, Concho Sewing's pattern for this. Uh, so on the outside here, I've got one of our uh, compass cases, the, our universal compass cases, and also carrying an x bed fire compass. And I've just got a little reflective patch that I got from Mr. Nefarious up at Jacobite Solutions. So mine's actually got two compartments. So in the first compartment, obviously I've got my map that I'm using, uh, that is going in and out. Then I've got a foil blanket, in case I need to use that for maybe shelter or warmth, whatever the rest. And I've got this, which is a survival ration block. So it's just a big lump of calories so that if I'm separate from my gear and I'm trying to get somewhere, I can try and not keep down that calorie deficit just by getting that down my neck. Whistle for signaling. I've got a sharpener for the knife and with a, a sharpie pen. So that's the way that Mark's taught me how to sharpen. And then I have a krill light, uh, which I've had for absolutely forever, which is a uh, battery powered uh, siloom type thing. Again, for signaling. Chapstick. Obviously, because you've got to keep those lips kissably soft while you're on the hills. Uh, turbo flame lighter, so that I know that, you know, even if there's a, a wind blowing, I can get a bit of a fire going. And I've also got a signaling mirror, which has another whistle on it. And then I have GPS, so that when I do get myself uh, navigationally embarrassed, I can find out where I actually am. And then I've got a uh, backup compass, again, like full-size compass, that one's the next bed four. Then in the rear compartment, I've got a water container, a little water bladder that will go with some um, water purifying tabs that are wrapped up in there. I've got a full-size fixed blade knife, uh, just a hold force one, nice strong knife. And then I've got another couple of chem lights for uh, signaling and uh, showing my location and some few hanks of our bank line that can be used for turning them into a buzz saw. Then I've got one of our Cierzo shirts in one of our dry bags as a quick windproof layer so I can at least cut some, uh, some of the wind chill off if I need to pull it out. And then I've got my fire kit which is a, a chat on its own but there's a couple of lighters in there, some tinder, uh, flint and steel, a bit of fat wood and that's all wrapped around with a bit of black nasty as a fire extender.